All right, now, once we have a dog, and that dog's, you know, got a basic understanding of what we're working on, you know, as far as he knows he's going to go out, and he's expecting a good thing to happen, he's well socialized, and he's got good work ethic. So that, what that means is every time you see your dog, he says, hey, I expect something good to happen, and he's looking at you. He's motivated to spend time with you. What's our next thing? It's communication, you know? You have to be able to explain to a dog in a manner that he understands. So if I've got a dog and he's happy and he's, he's, and he's, and he's ready to go outside and he's ready to do something and he's motivated to learn, you know, what's the imperative? It's imperative that I explain to him what's expected of him in a given situation in a clear and concise manner. Okay, and so that's that that's the real hard thing with dog training because it, you know people are used to talking with their mouths. They're used to talking with words, you know. But dogs, you ever mom, would your mom ever tell you when you were a little kid it's not what you say but it's how you say it? Okay, so when you're talking to your dog and you're using words, right? He's well socialized and he looks at you. He's trying to figure out what you want. You're using those words and and, and he doesn't understand. You're probably saying it the wrong way. We'll get to the specifics of, of intraspecies communication in a, in a video later, but I just want you to understand that basic concept. Is if you tell your dog to do something and he doesn't do it, it doesn't do any good to repeat those words at him. As I hear people with these machine gun words, sit, sit, sit down, 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 he'll come, come. Let, don't do that, right? If you say it and, and you have a happy dog and he's, and he's willing to work and he's not doing it, he doesn't understand. So back up, take a look at yourself, ask yourself, what am I doing that is creating a block between me and this dog? You know, I, I know he's happy, I know he wants to work, why doesn't he understand, right? And that's what we're going to be, over the course of this video series, that's one of the big things we're going to be working on. I, and, and I watch people struggle with this every single day. They come down to my kennel and I'm like, Stoney, well, why does that dog do it for you? And I'm like, because he understands what I want. And when you talk to him, you have different expectations. Like sometimes if you have a good day, your expectations are different than if you had a bad day at work, you know? So, so that's what we're going to work on. We're going to work on making your expectations very clear to your dog.